Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a very warm welcome to the Mercedes-Benz World in Brooklyn's Hall. Uh, Giacomo, this is like, uh, it's like being in a police station, you are being interviewed. Um, I forget all my English, this is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think Steve had me. I have a question that I should have perhaps asked you outside in case it's embarrassing, but I remember when I first met you, your, your nickname was Mino. Uh, Barry Sheen told me it was because uh, you didn't ever take your wallet out and it was mean. <laughs> Fifteen world championships is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I saw you last weekend in Jerez with uh, Valentino Rossi and uh, do you think he's ever going to catch your amount of wins? 123, I think? 123, yeah. Why, why do some people say 122 and some 123? Because also I think before this under 22, but one journalist from Spain, he, he called me three years ago and said, Albert, you win 123. I don't know, maybe he made it. We check and, and I win the, the 750 and Okanine, but it's not a uh, super bike. It's a, Okay. GP bike, yes. it's uh, 7 feet so he said you have 123, it's okay, it's better because Valentino is very close, so I must <laughs> <laughs> be more, yeah, before I say how one muscle, okay. muscle minimum, it's, so, not, it's not the difference, but when Valentino comes, I say okay, it's better, <laughs> I get old. You may speak to the journalist even more, I think, yeah. no, it's absolutely extraordinary, but he's, uh, he's signed another two-year contract, uh, and he won, won. You know why? Just to want to beat me. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's going to be very difficult for him, but we, we will see. No, no, this, not three years is not, it's not difficult. But it's not. <coughs> only sometimes some journalists ask me, Ago, are you happy if Valentino beat you, the, your one of the record? I say, I'm not happy, but, but if. What can I do? What I can do is. I'm happy if he if he beat me my record and he invite me for 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 dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but also some people is very surprised when I say I'm not happy. I say why? Because because why Valentino or other one is happy to beat my record, yeah. and I'm happy to to lose to lose to uh, yeah to lose it too. to lose my record. You know, it's, because some people as few years ago I think. Valentino beat some record from uh, Angel Nieto. Yeah, and he said he was happy. And, and we he know he was happy. I said, no, it's not true. No. It's not true. He said, maybe he said he's happy because he liked to... For the television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not true. It's like when uh, you, you, you say on front of the television, I'm happy for my teammate, you're never happy for your teammate. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> now, the, the other thing that has amazed me was the amount of wins and the reliability you had with the Envy Augusta. Looking at the record, one year you won every single race. This was incredible how reliable the motorcycle was at the yeah, time. Yeah, because two years I think I, I finished all the Grand Prix. It was fantastic because when we start with the three cylinder we have some problems because it's a, it's a special engine, you know, the Contra Augusta won the three cylinder and the engineer from MV Augusta said no, it's not. It's not good because it's difficult engine and it's not in the balance no, uh, it's not it's not perfect and so on. but the contract was saying no, I want the three cylinder and uh, he said also I want uh, the Italian rider can develop on the three cylinder. So i in that moment I win the Italian champion with uh, Moto Morini and I'm ready to go with Andrea Busta, so I'm very happy also. Right place, right time. Yeah. yeah okay, good. now, the most important thing. <coughs> but, sorry, also at that time, uh, Ginera mm -hmm. offered me. Okay. They offered me the, the four cylinder 500. More money, less money? Double money, then I'll be a booster. But I talked with my father, and he said, mm -hmm. okay, it's a lot of money because in the double, he paid you the double, but but will be a booster had the power. In Via Gusta make helicopter. At that time, we used to have about 3,500 people who were not, not, not from motorbike, from motorbike, maybe only 100. This other one from, from, from the helicopter, so you have the technology and, uh, and the more money to invest for the future. So I decided to sign with Via Gusta for half the price. 
che sto avanti che sto avanti che è Lorenzo Lorenzo che sai for Ducati because more money double double at least I think so did uh, Count Augusta give you a helicopter no <laughs> did, did you ever try to fly a helicopter no I I I I, I met the, well, the license to to fly fixed wing the, the normal plane no. and you still have a license no no because I have a F IFR, and so this is difficult to, you know, difficult. You must you must do many hours during the yeah, yeah. during the year, so yeah. I don't have time. And so I say, okay, it's better for me because easy to finish your life if you make a small mistake. <laughs> but but arguably, it, it was also very easy to finish your life racing in the times that you were racing. You you would have lost a lot of good friends. It was, yeah. it was dangerous, the circuits were dangerous. Yes, yeah, uh, you remember this, uh, when we race we have uh, very, very difficult and very um, dangerous circuit like uh, uh, Frank Ocean, <coughs> like uh, Lumbergring, like Isle of Man, like uh, Bruno, uh, Bruno. Imatra. Uh, Imatra, yeah, Imatra, many people say not because you see when we pass the, the, the uh, uh, railway. railway but Imatra is only the very slow pony. If you crash, you, you crash, not, not the speed, not the very high speed, but the very high speed was Isle of Man, Frank Rocham, and uh, Nürburgring, Yugoslavia also. Mm -hmm. You know, Yugoslavia, you have the, the sea and the rocks. Yeah, yeah, I so know. You must decide where you want to go. <laughs> You've got, it's better to get wet. <laughs> yeah. um, but I think the main reason we like Finland because there were so many beautiful Finnish girls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> more, more open, more hard, big hard. Ah. <laughs> Not like Italian is very, really, really. at that time. Now it's also in Italy, it's very open. Very big hard. <laughs> But that, that period of time, the 60s, 70s, when you were racing, it was, <coughs> it was said it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Was it like that for you? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> so, the period of racing motorcycles, yeah. the glamorous time of the 60s and 70s, we said it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Ah, only sex. <laughs> <laughs> No drugs, no rock and roll. No drugs, <laughs> no dancing, okay. only some okay. <laughs> But as I said, I'm going back to this period of time. Actually, before I go any further, your father wanted you to be an accountant, I believe. Yeah. Your father was hoping that you would become an accountant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I have uh, Okay, when I, when I want to start to raise it, it's difficult for me because my father and my family don't want and, uh, and uh, every day I, I ask my father, please, I have to raise, and say, no, no. And uh, I'm very lucky because after, because I can start at my time, it's not 18 years old, but with, with the permission of, of the family. And uh, I have 18 years, but, but no, 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 no permission, no, no signature. So one day we are the lawyer. No lawyer, no lawyer, the solicitor? Yes, solicitor. My and Italian is good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and the solicitor see me very, very, very unhappy and I say, well, what do you have? Ah, I want to race, but uh, Papa don't want. And, uh, and uh, he, so and my father says, yeah, he complains every day. I'm tired and so on. <laughs> and, and the solicitor says, okay, why? To, to my father, he says, why you don't, you don't sign? He said, nice to give the permission to the... To the, the, to the children, not the children, the, the guy, to, to do the sport. It's, the sport is, is good for the body, it's good for everything. And, and, uh, and uh, he convinced my father. Really? And my father signed. But after five minutes, we're talking, and, uh, and uh, the, the solicitor, he understand I want to race with the cycle. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I think God think about me, because uh, I'm very, very lucky, because Always my father said, you know, the our time, my time, is many people died because the circuit was very, very dangerous and when you crash, it's, you always have a very big problem. And my father said, I don't sign the, 
la mort, and they died of my son. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, the sign, the death of my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Okay. So, oh. Now I understand. Now, when I'm, I'm 18 years old, I say, ah, bloody. You know, <laughs> But now I understand, you know, I've got to sign at that time when every three or four weeks uh, one, one, one rider mm, dies. passing away, yes. But you have a son now, he's 25, 6, 7? What do you mean? Your son. Now, how old is your son? 21. 21? I am young. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, your wife is young. And the daughter, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he's better younger than... than Absolutely, I completely agree. Yeah, than old. Yeah. We have a saying in this country, you're only as old as the woman you feel. <laughs> um, but you were, what about if your son said he wanted to go racing? If your son comes to you and said, I want to go motorcycle racing, what would you say? Yes. Yeah. But, but fortunately, he, he don't. Yeah, he likes the motorbike, but uh, he don't want to race. Okay. You, are you He's very good at the school. Okay. He's uh, always... Number one or number two, so okay. But maybe God give me the motorcycle and for him give me the school. <laughs> but it would be concerning for you if at 15, 14 he wanted to go racing. It's, it's, it makes you nervous as a father. Yeah, sure. It's, and one way, I'm sure I'm very nervous and I worry about. But yeah. another is I'm happy, of course, because see my son. But all this is difficult because if you have, if you have the father. You know, Number one sure. is always difficult. But sometimes we say with about Valentino, the papa was not so good and the Valentino is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a very, very good point. Um, it was uh, Freddie Sheen, Barry Sheen's son, he didn't really want to go racing because he didn't want to try to get to the level of his father. Also, my son, yeah. my son also. He didn't race at all. So what is the secret for eternal youth, for looking so young? Because I'm young. <laughs> I think it's 53, 54, 54 next year. 50 plus, plus tax. Plus tax. <laughs> the, the Italian tax is very high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, you, I know that you still get to ride some motorcycles now, but only for demonstrations. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes some organizers say, oh, Argo, if you come, uh, we pay you a lot of money if you race. I said no because <coughs> I decide to stop. I decide to finish the race, and uh, if I come back now to do some race with the, the old people, what we show? We show we are old. We go slower than before, <laughs> and uh, we not maybe not intelligent, but uh, mm, not not so fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I said no. I it's, it's okay for me if I if I do sometimes some revival. It's, uh, I'm happy to to see all my friends and to try the bikes, you know, it's, but no. Okay. Okay. So what would be your normal week's work? I mean, maybe work, work is not the right thing. What, what normally keeps you busy? Because you were saying you have a very nice house in Spain near Jerez, uh, but you never get there because you're always busy. What, what are you busy doing? Because uh, I work for Sky Television for the, for the MotoGP. And uh, I do something for MP Augusta and also with Yamaha, sometimes we have some promotion. I meet in the house, I look at all my things and, uh, and uh, some job on this and this one. I work more now than before. This is <laughs> okay. But I want to stop because it's too much now. Your wife wants you to stop. Yeah, this is why I find uh, the younger wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm really interested because sometimes I see you with a Yamaha shirt on and sometimes with an MV shirt on and how does this work? It depends who pays more. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because, you know, because uh, uh, with Andrea Gusta, I win a lot, it's my, one of my family. Yeah. And uh, Yamaha, after when I change from MV to Yamaha, I win with Yamaha and I have uh, another family because uh, uh, when I change, uh, it's so difficult for me. It's difficult. It was a difficult decision because I know what I left, but I don't know what I okay. uh, future. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but they're happy to. So, work but, uh, but when I I meet the people, when I be in Japan for two weeks and I try the bikes and so on, and uh, I understand that I find another family. Okay. 
Um, now, you were a team manager. How, how was that? I remember when you finished racing and yeah. running the Marlboro team, the Yamaha Marlboro team. Yeah. Did you enjoy this? Oh, first, when I, when I started, I did because uh, I think uh, my sponsor and Yamaha asked me if I, if I want to make a team, and I said, well, oh, uh, I don't know if... But after... After the check arrived? <laughs> no, 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 it's not, no, no, this is I worry about, you know, is... Uh, I think, I think maybe it's, it's, maybe I don't like to do this job. But after, I decide and uh, I have a good time, I'm very, very happy because uh, I have a good team, I decide everything because Yamaha gave me the bike and after I must find the sponsor and I find the, the, the riders, the mechanic and everything. So it's, the team was my team and I decide everything and uh, for me it was good because I have a lot of responsibility I want to show uh, I'm good also team manager, you know. Mm -hmm. And we win uh, three world champions with Yamaha. And uh, I have a very, very exciting season. And of course, it's not, when we win, it's not like before when I win. And so, at that time is the team win, the, the rider win. But anyway, I'm very happy because it's, uh, it's, it's my job, you know, during the season. I work a lot on this one and I put also my experience and your brother, your brother was working in the team also. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah. So he had me. Okay. So it, I ran a team for a short period, not as successful as your team, but it comes difficult when you have to sign the check for the rider when it's so big, isn't it? Do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it was difficult, but but if you have the result, you know, if, if a good rider, we must pay the good money because he give you he give you a lot. Yeah, that's the team win. Uh, of course, it's, it's important for everybody, also, especially for Yamaha, because, because you know, I, uh, for me it was difficult because I asked I asked Yamaha to send me an engineer to check the engine to and to, to development. So we have direct directly contact with with Yamaha Japan, and I made the big the big uh, the big hall in Bergamo where I live, yeah. and with with the test bench and uh, everything. And, we have a, I have also the good technical people. I have Ken uh, Carades. Uh, he worked for us, and uh, he was a very good, very good. Uh, who, who was your best rider? Oh, I have a lot. I, uh, Crosby and uh, and uh, uh, McIntyre, McKenzie, Lawson, did Lawson ride? Lawson and uh, Kenny Roberts. I think Lawson was very, very professional. Difficult character, mm -hmm. but but very professional. He win three world champion. Kenny Roberts was very very fast. Yeah. I think Kenny, I think is more fast than than, than Eddie. Right. But uh, Eddie is, is very very professional, and I have also Freddie Spencer, but but uh, it was towards the end of his career. Yeah, right? it's still only twenty eight years old. Yeah, 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 but but, but uh, sure, he, he, he very, passed his Yeah, it was very difficult. Yeah. He promised me many things, but uh, he, he went from being fast Freddy to fat Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him. <laughs> no, actually, he, he lives in London now, Freddy. Yeah, and he's now lost a lot of weight and he looks fast again now. He wants to start again. Maybe, maybe he wants to start again. Uh, and but you also looked at car racing for you mm -hmm. raced a Formula One car in England a lot. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. What about because that? because during the my career I have uh, the offer from Ferrari because uh, at that time many our testing was in Modena, okay. where is uh, Ferrari and Ferrari used the same same circuit same track and many times Ferrari come to to watch his car and we talking and uh, one day he offered me the. The possibility to race with Ferrari. Well, I yeah, said, so you're not very excited because Ferrari, you know, Ferrari is Ferrari. And the car from Rwanda. Uh, and I think about three or four days, but only, only not, not, not during the day, but during the night also. I think, oh, what I do. And uh, at the end, I decide to not race with the car because I say, okay, when I burn, I think about the motorcycle. 
I don't think about the car. So the motorcycle was my love. And why now I have everything, I win everything, and I am a world champion, why now change to another sport? Not sport, another year, another career. Another year. I said, uh, I, uh, and then I decided no, because uh, what I said, God give me the true wins mm -hmm. in my head. So, and uh, I called Ferrari and said, I'm sorry, thank you very much for your, but I stay with my Okay. That's all. But I'm uh, happy to do But you did drive uh, Williams' car? And the end, I'm sorry, at the end of the my career, I, okay, I said, okay, if, you know, when you finish, when you stop, it's very, very difficult because at that time you think, okay, my life is finished. Because I love motorcycles, so I race it with, with the heart. So I say now my love, I lost my love, it's finished. Uh -huh. And so it's difficult for every, I think for every sport man or for every... Sure, it's difficult to stop. It's difficult to stop, to say, okay, man, because still you're younger, yeah. but it's, maybe it's, you are old for, for, for a motorbike, yeah. like a swimming people. Yeah. Yeah. At 23, 25 years old, it's finished. Yeah. But it's also, motorcycling is dangerous, you have to sometimes think yeah, that yeah. You, you are still in good condition, so... So, it's more difficult, and to forget this, I think, okay, I spoke with uh, Bernie Eccleston, and he offered me to race with uh, uh, Aurora, who is an cha English champion. Yeah. And, uh, but before, before I tried with the Formula 2, and uh, Formula 2, I had a good, a good result, because, I think because first, because I need the time to learn, and I don't have time to learn. And second, I I I I chose the the different cars. I I I chose the Chevron, and the Chevron was the car. The Formula Two was very difficult to 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 drive. And you must go to the you know to the cut the oh, yeah. cut the chicane and go to the curve. My the money right. is the you know the the curve the curve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's. And always with the motorbike, I I I drive very smooth and and all all with the precision, like yeah, precise, precise. And the Formula Two, we must drive like a go kart. So I don't like very much. So I change and I race with Formula One uh, Aurora. It's a little better, but uh, at that time when I buy the Williams, you buy it yeah. with your own money. My sponsor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My sponsor loved me. So. <laughs> who, who was this sponsor? Mauro. Mauro. Mauro, I think. I knew a small. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, so it's uh, the first time we have allowed to use the mini, mini, mini skirt. Mini, you know the, the oh skirt. Skirt. skirt, yeah. But after we have allowed, but already I have I buy two cars. And the sponsor said, "No, we don't have any more money to change the car." So I do one season with uh, with some people in the skirt, and okay. but I'm happy because I finished five, uh, third one time, uh, fifth, four. So it's not okay. But after I say, "Okay, now I'm too old." Did it, did you get the same exhilaration from the car as the motorcycle? The car is. Uh, uh, very strange. Just when you drive in the car, it's, you think, oh, I, I, it's possible to go more fast, but it's difficult to go more fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you drive in the car and motorcycle, a lot of different because the car is like the feeling. It's like uh, relaxed and not yeah. not danger. Yeah. So and the motorcycle give you the the. the, the yeah, I, no. I, I know what you mean. You have to use your heart with the yes. motorcycle. Because, because the motorcycle, the car, just you, you spin and you turn and you start again and you go. The motorbike, you crash. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, so it's, in, in some ways, I mean... It's I, worry. No, motorbike gives you more, more power. power. It's worry to... Yeah, um, I think what you're You worry to crash yeah. with the car, no? Because you sit down, maybe, <laughs> sometimes I think, oh, I'm not fast, I try to fast, but... I said, okay, I'll take, I'll take a sandwich. A <laughs> <laughs> motorbike, you don't have the sandwich. <laughs> I, I know exactly what you're saying. I mean, I Sorry, my English, but... Uh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's very good. He said, I speak Italian, so he must translate. <laughs> he said before, I speak Italian. Well, we can do it in Italian, but not so many people. Italian? <laughs> See, 
<laughs> but I know what you're saying is when you're in a car, I think there's more people that can go as fast as you because there is, if you make a mistake, it's not so dangerous. So you can be nearer to the limit. Whereas with a motorcycle, you have to have the skill and also a bit of bravery as well. There's yeah. an element of bravery that comes into it. Um, but you don't get to drive anything anymore now. You no. Know. But the, the difference in the car was uh, in the braking. Yeah. Exactly. The Not motorbike like just you braking and you start to open the, 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 the throttle to go out from the corner with, with the, the power, with more air. The car is not like the motorbike, we have about 120 horsepower, 110, 120. The car, we have that time, I think, six, 600, 650 yeah. 50 horsepower. So the car, he used different than motorbike. You just arrive, you break it, you go inside, and you put all yeah. Because you have power to go. And for me, it's difficult to, to forget what I do before and to learn you know, the, 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 the different system. Are you involved with Dionysian and AGE? I notice yeah. you are. You are. Are you a director of the company, or are you involved with the company? No, I uh, I do some public relation with AGE and, uh -huh. and Dionysian. Okay. Um, your job with Sky Television. Do you do you, you don't go to all the Grand Prix, no? No, because we do some on the the, the track and some in the studio studio in Milan. Okay. But I don't like very much the studio. I close in the room. I prefer, I prefer to smile. And, uh, yeah, to, to touch and smell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you think you'll be coming to the British Grand Prix? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe yes. Maybe I do in Milan. Depends. Okay. All right. We we want you to come to the British Grand Prix because uh, there's maybe an anniversary for Barry Sheen, 40 yeah. years from winning his championship. So there's a possibly. A, a I ask if he send me. I happy for him. Yeah. If it's possible to come, okay. if, if the sky... I'll write you an invitation, a yeah. special one. Okay. <laughs> All right. That would be good. And, and uh, <coughs> do, you, do you get enjoyment from doing the commentary or being involved in this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, when, when the chair comes... It's not my job. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's... Yes. It's nice to stay involved, though. I think it keeps, yeah. it, it keeps you young by being. Yeah, at the track. sure. No, because I like I like motorcycle race, so I, I spend uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and and uh, you know I keep I keep uh, yeah. always in the what is it, to know everything. Yeah. Because if I don't do this, you research. You have to research. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So can you tell me the championship positions now? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very difficult. Very difficult because I think it's three riders can win. It's uh, Lorenzo, he was champion, Valentino, and then Marquez. Because it's all very, very close. And, uh, and uh, I think he's, he's long world champion, long, more, well, long, 18 Grand Prix, now he's already four. So it's, I think in, we must wait in the end of the season. Sure, it's going to be a, a long, close yeah. season, I think. Yeah. Uh, talking about Valentino, because he's a good friend of yours, I know that you spend quite a lot of time with him, but he is remarkable that he has adapted his style, I think, over the, in the last two or three years. He's, he's started to do more dirt tracking. I know he's built his own track at home, yeah. and he's adapted to more a, a slightly different style, which is... Yeah, he decided to continue, and, uh, and he's very clever. He, he worked a lot. Mm. He worked a lot. In any 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 situation, he do the gym gymnasium, he do the dirt track, and uh, because he want to win again, he want to win again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I know we know it's difficult because 37 years old with the young rider. Now 37, sometimes you think about at 21, 22, you don't think. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah. This is so you just open, you crash, and you remember. What is two or two years ago at the Mugello? Three, uh, three, uh, maybe four uh, years with his legs. No, 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 no but uh, um, uh, Marquez. Ah, yeah. He crashed in the straight lane at about 300 kilometers. Yeah, 315 kilometers. Yeah. After 20 minutes, he still drive to Venice. Okay. Uh, at the, the hour, the my time, if we crash at 300, <laughs> it's maybe 20 pieces. Yeah, we are in the, <laughs> in the ground. 
Yeah, that, that was interesting. I was doing the commentary at this point, and when he, when he came to a halt, he stopped, like I say, 320 kilometres an hour, and, and he waved like this, and he was saying the second bike when yeah. he was on the ground. The ground, the ground. The ground. The the ground second bike. Yeah, yeah. I, I, need, I would need to go to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There is no yeah, but now it's, it's, it's important. Now we have a, a safety truck, we have leaders, better, we have the helmet, uh, the airbag, mm. no, this is, I think yeah, this is help. Most is, is the truck, I think, because when you crash, in my time when we crash, we have a wood, we have a trace, we have everything, so, and so it's, uh, it's difficult to stand up again and go. Yeah, because as we've seen, uh, speed doesn't kill you, it's stop, stopping quickly. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. what was your worst accident for you? What, what, what was the worst accident you had? Well, I have uh, one in, uh, in Italy when I try private testing. I try and be a rooster, and uh, before before the breaking, the, the throttles Stop. keep keep open, mm -hmm. and uh, I I cut uh, my my muscle here uh -huh. because because the guard line, you know the line, the guard line. The, the barrier. Oh yeah, guard rail, guard with arm cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, cut me because I, I leave my 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 leg, but not not quick enough. Right. And, uh, and another one in Saxony, the last lap, I just I say, oh, I win. I have maybe twenty or thirty seconds from, and uh, the, before two corner before finish, is a line of oil. Maybe some Norton or Mercedes. Almost certainly. And I do you know, oil and I go out and I, I crash at about 300 kilometers. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. very lucky because I got the glass, there's no value. Right. I got the glass and cut my nose and I cut the hair. And then. But very funny because, because uh, the doctor took me to the hospital and uh, East Germany. And the hospital at 10 o'clock in the evening, everybody was, and I cry because what I do alone is, and I'm not so bad, so I think and I go out. I go to the hotel. I go to the hotel, I see my mechanic, and uh, after one hour, I'm in my room, look, and the police come, take me and take me to the hospital. Wow. With the gun. <laughs> <laughs> because you had left. Because I left. It, but it, it is incredible that your long, long career and 123 Grand Prix wins and many, many others that you didn't hurt yourself more. It's, it's really luck, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah because, uh, because when <coughs> sometimes the people say, I don't, I don't, never crash. Of course, when you crash, you die. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's better not crash. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you think... Now, now, of course, now is the ride now take a little more risk because he know yeah. he can crash and he stand up again, you know. Yeah. But, but in my time, is, is he must be careful to crash. When you say uh, back in your time, when we wore the leathers, which were had no padding, no anything, but it wouldn't matter because if you hit a house, it doesn't matter how much padding you have, or if you hit a tree, it's, yeah. you're right. It's the yeah. distance, it's the runoff is what's it's not leathers, it's not. But I remember when I come to England, I buy the Cromwell. <laughs> I buy the club well, but the survey says, oh, this one is, is much safety than other Italian helmet. Yeah. I say, okay, I buy the club well. and after I make the leaders, uh, one it was in Italy. It's, uh, the, the light, the light is, is what, 800 grams. Okay, because it's Nothing. all about being small. Nothing and small and so But I crash in Roma. And the Roma circuit, yeah. I crash and I stand up with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all the, the infirmier, what is infirmier, the girl work in the hospital. Yes. The nurse? The, the, yeah, the nurse. Yeah. The nurse they take me and say, no, I do with Agostini, I do with Agostini, because I have a lot of stone in my <laughs> And all this girl come and say, no, I do it. <laughs> no, I do it. And I am there and say, I'm wrong, sir. <laughs> so, so pain, pain, I don't think about other things. <laughs> and you didn't want to cry in front of the nurse. No. <laughs> but you had a big accident, I remember, at Goodwood, two, three years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is... It, it's something incredible. When yeah, incredible. Incredible because 
uh, we don't go to where we go up to the hill and after we, we come down. If, if you go, uh, some of you have been to Goodwood good good Revival, where you ride up the hill, it's the hill climb, and then you wait at the top, and then and they let you come back, and normally you just free wheel. Festival yeah. of Speed. Sorry, Festival of Speed. Festival of Speed, yeah. And I come down with, uh, uh, I switch off the engine, just come, and I put, sometimes some people don't put their hand and just say hello, you know, before we, we come down very slowly. And, uh, but, I have the helmet, so, but, uh, but the, in the, in my, my wheels, my rear wheels are not, because the mechanics don't, don't fix with the, 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 the bolt came from the sprocket, I think, from the, no, the, the, the when you close, not, not the bolts, so the inside, the bearing, the bearing, yeah, exactly, okay, and normally when I race with them, we always we put the, the, the wire, the wire, yeah, the wire, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. And uh, he don't put. This one with the vibration can't come and lock, lock the wheel. And, uh, and uh, I crash, but I go up and I, I put my, my, my head on the floor and uh, I lost the... the I Conscious. Lost the con con Conscious. Conscious, yeah. yeah. Only, for the, only for 30 seconds, but... You know, it's... Okay, I crash with... When I go very slowly, maybe, <laughs> and, uh, and I crash with the engine to switch off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's more damage, but due to my career, I never touched the head. <laughs> I said, Basta. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Basta is enough, not, yeah. uh, not bastard. Sorry. No, 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 not bastard. Not bastard. So, for you now, have you. Um, your son, you have a daughter as well, I believe. Yeah. yeah? What's your daughter do? Uh, now she she graduated in the uh, what is that? The language. language. The language, okay. And now she she studied for interior design. Okay, alright. So your house will look very nice. <laughs> I hope. You can't <laughs> afford the price. She's still there. Uh, <laughs> okay. She's still there. Uh, um, and your son was in university in um, UCL, yeah. where, uh, Hartford, I think. No, before, before he was in, in, uh, in uh, I thought it was Hartford. North of Hatfield. Yeah, near. Yeah, uh, what is the name? Is, I don't know. Near, near Stansted. Yeah. The big, big uh, college. Yeah. Now he's in UCL in London, and uh, next year, for the last. He graduated this year, and the next year he go for one day for a master in uh, Cambridge. Okay, oh really? Perfect. No, he's, he's, he's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, his brains... I don't know, he learned from who I don't know. The brains, <laughs> the brains come from the mother? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not father, maybe not mother. What I said before, maybe God give me the... the, the what did, to do the in the bus, yeah, yeah. The and maybe he gave it from the school, you know. Uh, okay, so he's going to keep you in the style you're accustomed to. <laughs> so you never wanted to go, you always lived in Italy, you never wanted, did you go to live in Monaco or to Switzerland, no? You just pay all your taxes? I pay the tax in bloody Italian. <laughs> <laughs> because you give the tax and he want more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And more, you want more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the same. In I the, think same in every way. It's the same in the whole world. world yeah. You could have gone to the Isle of Man to live, but you would have been very cold. Yeah, but cold. Yeah. 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 And then uh, it's one, one, it's like when we race an Isle of Man, we have a four season during one lap. <laughs> sunshine, <laughs> rain, foggy, sunshine. I have enough. <laughs> you won, I believe, 10 TTs. It's right, yeah, 10 yeah. TTs, and, and at the end you decided it was enough, and I understand why, because too many of your friends yeah. were, were dying there and everything else, but I think you'd have to agree to win the Isle of Man is, uh, gives you a, a great feeling, uh, the, the satisfaction. Yeah. Is very I, think, I think winning the Isle of Man is like, it's like winning the World Champion, because it's one of the difficult circuits and one of the exciting circuits when you do. When you raise an Isle of Man and you finish and you are still alive, it's, <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Because about three years ago, I do one lap with Valentino Rossi in Isle of Man. 
and uh, we do together. And, and I, I was with you, and, and I remember Valentino said, uh, I'm going to follow you because you know where to go. And then you said afterwards, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> so they were, they were going along, I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, I know many is, uh, if you don't know very well, it's easy to have accident. Yeah. Yeah. And you must remember everything. And, uh, and the end, I know, uh, Valentino so happy, he said, oh, it's fantastic. I said, you like to come back again? Maybe we do some few laughs more. He said, ah, yes, I'm pleased to come back again. But uh, don't ask me to race, because if you give me one million pounds, I don't race. <laughs> sure. but, but, but he says, so exciting to, 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 to do a few laps of the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he loved it, he liked yeah, it. But yeah, yeah. he said also, I think with him, even if you give him 10 million pounds, he doesn't want to race yeah. there because it's... Uh, now because now all the, the, all the riders he used to race in the safety circuit, you know. And when you see something uh, oh, yeah. outside the track, is not only really, you really must. Uh, yeah, 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 it is. But, but also, I like, uh, I like to say about when I changed. This is vodka? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> vodka. <laughs> Just pure vodka. I, when, uh, because many people like to know when I, when I change from a beer booster to a Yamaha. And, uh, Many people say, ah, you change because Phil Reed come to MB Augusta. Mm -hmm. I say, okay, with Phil, it's not easy. <laughs> no easy uh, convivenza. To live with Phil is not easy, but, but anyway, he do his job, I do my job. But uh, at the end of 73, I see with, with uh, MB Augusta, with the engine, four-stroke engine, was very difficult to, to find more power. Because every, every, every year during the winter, maybe the mechanics from MV find one or two horsepower. So and we see the, the two stroke coming very strong. Every year more, more fast, every year more power. And so I decide, I decide to, to. It's your wife. <laughs> oh, sorry, can I say? <laughs> so, sorry, can you call me before, uh, after? Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was Phil Reed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a television. <laughs> so I decided to, to, to change. It was a very difficult decision for me because, you know, live and be a booster where I have everything, where I win a lot of world champions. But for my for my career, I, I decide to, to to change and uh, and I start with with, uh, with with Yamaha and I remember I spent two weeks in Japan because you know for two stroke the first stroke was a little difficult for the first two or three testing but after you know after you learn you understand the engine doesn't help you to break because like the first stroke and, and the, we prepared the, all the bike, uh, 350, 500, and 700 for Daytona. And uh, after my, my first race was in Daytona. For me, Daytona, first time in, in America, first time with the two-stroke, first time with the banking circuit, yeah. it was very difficult. And he wins. And, uh, and uh, yeah, but uh, I remember when I arrived at the airport, uh, the General Motors gave me one car. One car with 13, I got 13 times world champion. He gave me to use for the week, uh, for the, the week I stay, I stay in, in, in Daytona. And uh, <coughs> the day after, I see the paper, the newspaper is the article from Kenny Roberts. Kenny Roberts said, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, I got, is not the world champion. I am the world champion because the America is the world, not Europe. <laughs> <laughs> That's America. Yes, I say, okay, I'm very not disappointed. I say, say, okay, but uh, I thought. And, uh, and uh, after the race, I win. And I see Kenny, I say, Kenny, I'm sorry. I hope you understand who is a world champion. <laughs> Um, what time do you have to go to bed? 
Ed as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, to a writer I never met. No, you, he sent me before. Okay, we're talking about 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, but my... Uh, okay. my we over, my we time, over, my, over I, I'm not very good with my wife. We over okay. Over time, more money, don't worry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a writer I didn't meet, but I think he was going to be a great writer, Bill Ivey, you would have raced against Bill Ivey. Was he a, a fun guy to be around? It was just my interest to know this. About Bill? Bill, yeah. No, he was a fantastic guy. Okay. Very nice. Right. And, and uh, when, when we have... Uh, practice and, and suctioning, uh, we don't start, uh, no, we, no, we don't start because uh, rain, and uh, when rain and so is very slippery, and uh, everybody take out the helmet, everybody, something, and he don't take out the helmet, but it's open, and he leave it. and after 10 minutes, the, the, the green flag, say, okay, everybody go, and he start, and I think he forget to, but, but, he crash, and he go to the grass, and the middle of the grass is one... Uh, what is it? Rock? Cement? Cement? Yeah, cement. concrete, rock, rock. And he go just... And, uh, so it's yeah. Yeah, luck, bad luck. And I remember the, the day after we have a race, and uh, he make, I think, the second, second time or third time, so it's in the first line, and, uh, and uh, just the mechanic bring the bike, and there's the flower on the floor, you know, we have to start. Well, it's very hard, uh, right. because he's a very nice guy, and very fast also. Mm, okay. Right, um, ladies and gentlemen, if you, uh, I've asked lots of questions, but I think it's time that you had your chance to ask one or two questions here. Uh, if you want to know how to go and find young <coughs> wives, you can explain how to do that <laughs> for the gentleman here I'm tonight. I'm close to chance now. Huh? Oh, really? How long does it normally last? Oh, I don't know. It depends. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, now the wife is from Spain. Maybe now I find one from England. But, so but I can learn English. Yeah, it's more yeah. Important Your English is very good. Yeah, but if, if I have it, the girl close to me, maybe I, I learn <laughs> easy. They're very expensive in England. They're very expensive. Yeah, they're very expensive. Yes. Oh, trust me. London, yeah. but yeah, they yeah, go outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, we, go, we go outside of London. <laughs> you, you, how many wives have you had? Only one. Just the one? I'm very really serious. Unbelievable, yeah. really. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, keep, keep one because it gets expensive. Before we start the questions, this is going to be auctioned uh, at the end. It's a fantastic model of the MV Augusta there. This one here, pretty much. This is six, uh, four cylinders. Four cylinders. Oh, so ah, yeah. sorry. This is more, oh. more, more value. Okay, more value. <laughs> but this is going to be auctioned to go to the Brooklands Trust and Giacomo will sign it and we're going to auction it at the end of the evening. Yeah, that's all right. Right, any questions out there? I'm sure there must be for one or two of you. Yeah, There's a gentleman down the front here. This is if where you, I get my exercise. Yeah, you're you know, like the Annika Rice. Okay. <laughs> I think you've got a smaller bum, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How difficult was it working from Count Augusta? Was it an easy amount to work with? It was difficult, yeah. It was difficult because uh, when... Okay, two minutes I, I say you when, when I win with 250 two Morini, the Italian champion, and one morning the Mr. Mani, Mr. Mani called me, you know, the, the yeah. director of uh, team manager of MV. He, he sadly died a little while ago. Yeah, one month ago. Mm. He, he called me and said, uh, Conte Augusta would like to talk with you, if you, if you like, uh, yes, when? <laughs> I said, well, say, okay, you come tomorrow at 4.30. I go to Casilla Costa at 4.30, at 4 o'clock, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's so exciting, because, of course, Conte Augusta called me. And uh, I arrived, I go to the office, the secretary said, waiting, we sit down, and, uh, and uh, after half an hour, I think he said, mm -hmm. yeah, I was still just, Costa Augusta is so busy, please, can you wait? In? Okay. It's 5 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock. I said, but sorry. Yeah, but you see, Costa Augusta is so busy. And I see many people go inside. I said, okay. I wait. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. At, at the lunch, I don't have lunch because so excited, you know. <laughs> so no lunch, the dinner, eight o'clock, nothing. And uh, say, okay, I go. He said, 
Anyway, he received me at 10.30 in the evening. <laughs> I go inside of this room. It's not, not so many lights. It's all the trophy. And his, his uh, table is, is like this, or not, not like that. It's half, you know, the, okay. with, the, with the lights and the, and the you just ride and say, good, good evening, Sr. Senor Conte, good evening. And after that, uh, who you are? <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, I am, I am Agostini. Ah, what do you want? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you said some dinner, please. <laughs> yeah, but you're not so excited. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and uh, Ante said, uh, I want to race with your bike. Just I think God helped me because God already started to nervous because after many years waiting, and he asked me what I want. I say, well. and he said, I I like to race with your bike. But you can you can you can drive my bike. I said, okay, I'm Italian champion. Just one week ago, I win, I win the Italian champion. So. Yeah. But he know, he know, but yeah, he yeah, like sure. to, you know. He said, okay, tomorrow, it, Arturo, Arturo Magno, he said, book the, 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 the track in Monza, and tomorrow you go to test, to test the bike with Argo in Monza. Okay, thank you very much, good evening. And so I go out, all the stuff this. Yeah. And, uh, the day after, I go Monza, and I see the long, and uh, the start line. I see the uh, the Biridi. What is the Biridi? You put this one, this one, and you go. Ah, oh, chicane, cones. The cones, yeah, cones. I say, but what I do? I say, yeah, Conte Augusta say you must try. I say, no, because this one I do maybe 15 years ago, when I do the Gymkhana. Yeah, with, yeah. with small, small 50 cc. Now I, I'm Italian champion, I said. But Mani say, okay, do what Conte Gusto wants, please. Because he liked to prove me, I think. Yes. And after that, I go back to Cascina Costa, we sign the contract, half price from Gilera. Half price, <laughs> really? Yeah. But I say, okay, it's you not know, Augusta, is a big man, it's a good buy. Uh, many people win, uh, John Surtees, Mike Haywood, Gary Hockey. <coughs> And uh, other many riders uh, uh, race with MP Augusta. And, uh, so it's the honor, and every people dream to race with MP Augusta. Yeah. And so, and after we have a good relation, but always Conte Augusta is, uh, is the boss. I am the, the worker, you know, I am. Yeah. He's the boss, and the, the worker, you know. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He but, but he respects me, I respect him, and, and I have a good time because I win. 13 world champion with the end, so it's, it was, it was my, my second family. Did he come to watch the races a lot? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 some, not all, but uh, okay. uh, he came with uh, his Cadillac with, uh, with the cover here, and the, the chef here, so it's, yeah. it is very, the personality is very, is very strong. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, when, when everybody got to speak with Conte Augusta, still there, Big engineer or big director is always. At the end of the, before Christmas, and he called everybody. He had two big uh, uh, tank, and a carton, carton with, with some envelope inside. Mm -hmm. And the envelope is inside of the envelope is the money. Okay. They say, okay, you, uh, you, this year, good, okay. This one, maybe you know, 100 pounds. Are uh, you? Not so good, only a ten pound. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, or five hundred pound. Yeah, yeah, incredible. This is it. So you didn't always pay your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the custom now. Every year you do this one. Okay. But it's very, very strange person, very intelligent, yeah. very intelligent person, and, but very, very serious. Very, you know. It's, but it's nice to see the MV still being manufactured. But there are some problems, you were saying, it's difficult yeah. now with, uh, yeah. maybe with the bank. And, and yes. It's very sad. But I hope we solve the problem. Yeah. Because yeah. Mercedes now is behind. So I hope, you know, because he made a very good bike now. You see this bike and yes. other bikes. But always, always problem, but I hope, I hope we solve all the problems. You, you don't want to buy the company? If I have 20 years younger, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it'd be good. No, no. You can get you can get you can get Valentino to write the check out. Yeah. And then, yeah. Your son can run the company. Yeah. I think that's a, a good plan. A couple more questions out there. We've got a microphone that can come pretty much anywhere. There's one down the front here. <coughs> Uh, what do you think uh, uh, Martino Strauss is to win another title he spent this year? I think, uh, well, it's a fight for the I think he had a good possibility because, because he tried and he worked a lot because he wanted to win another one. Last year he very disappointed and uh, he did it all the season and in the end he lost the world champion and for him it was difficult difficult situation and now he decided again and he decided to race again more after this year more two years and uh, I think of course he tried he tried hundred percent maybe more because uh, for him it's very important to to win another world champion uh, was there a hand up somewhere for this someone else got a question no one else now in this end. Anybody else? Let me just try and pass that to you. Good evening, Jack Burke. Just like to ask you about your relationship with Mike Howell. How did you get on with him and how did you write him? With Mike, no? Yeah, with Mike Howell. Oh, really, really. I think it's. Uh, okay. Uh, with the latter, we got very, very friendly because, you know, one wants to meet another one, another one wants to meet another one. So it's difficult to be very, very friendly. But with Mike, we have a lot of respect. I remember when, uh, when uh, I lived in the uh, Iron Man in, in '67, and uh, in the last lap I broke the chain, and uh, Mike came to me and he invited me in the evening and said, "Okay, today I go, you are the winner." So it was very, very nice, and, and uh, he understand. And for me. I'm very disappointed because you know, big Mike came on the night of my name. It's not for everybody. So for me, it's a like a like to win the world champion because I remember Mike and I of my win one to five, two fifty, three fifty, three fifty, five hundred. So and, and we beat him and I of my name, you know, it's, and I understand that time he have a bike, he have a good bike, he have a more power than MB Augusta, but MB Augusta is more 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 easy to riding and uh, and uh, I remember when we have a when we start we I try I know this one so I try very hard because I know for him with the petrol the full full time petrol is is more difficult and after when the, the bike coming lighter lighter is it's not easy because I don't know, it's not easy but it's it's, it's more fast and so I, we have this uh, Strategy, you know, to race. As I say, okay, when it's, it's top to, to the full, it's for to the petrol for me is more easy to go. And uh, but the last I I did him for about six or seven seconds, and I trim the victory. But it's one of the my best I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he he bought you dinner afterwards. He yeah. knew you were going to win the race. Dinner, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so there was, there was some. We have a nice day, nice day, we have a nice day. Okay, okay. okay I think finally... Just to forget, to... because when I arrive, I cry, and I cry, and, the, and one girl is coming to say, oh, no, you don't have to cry. Okay, if you don't want I cry, you must stay close to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've tried that, but it doesn't work. <laughs> no, 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 I don't believe it. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Giacomo, I just see you. Yeah. Now, we have this. Uh, whoever wants to buy this, purchase this. Giacomo will sign it. You can have your picture taken with him signing this. It will look very nice on your mantelpiece. Um, I can tell you it's quite an expensive item, and I am going to put this up to start with for the price that it's in the shop at, for basically 50 pounds. So we'll give you 50 pounds for this. Put your hand up if you want it. So I've got 50 down here. We're going 10, anyone want to give me 60? All the money goes to Brooklyn's Trust. I've got 60 over there, thank you very much indeed, gentlemen of the time. Anyone want to give me 70 pounds for this? 
I've got 70 right at the back, thank you very much indeed. Any more? At 70 pounds, I've got 70, 80, thank you very much indeed. The gentleman with the tie at the Well, no, pounds. it's your own job, please. No, no, no. <laughs> very professional. <laughs> so you've been this. No, no, now, now it's 100. No, it's, it's 80 pounds. The gentleman with the tie, I'm looking for 90, it'd be nice. 90 at the back, thank you. We can go 100, madam. Thank you, we've got 100 pounds. Anyone go 110? Thank you. At the back of the room, I've got 120, a little bit further forward. At 120 pounds, sat to the very pretty blonde lady. At 120 pounds, that should. Anyone want to go 130? At the back, 130, thank you. Would you go 140 with a tie? Thank you so much. 140 pounds I've got. At the moment, we are selling it 150. Thank you. Right at the back of the room, at 150 pounds. Any more offers at 160? I've got here. Would you like to go 170? 170 down the front here at 180. Thank you. I've got 200 pounds for the gentleman with a tie. At 200 pounds, you are making a lot of money because you're so good. So 200 pounds. I've got 210. Anybody? I know 200 is nice, but at 210 it'd be nice. If not, we're selling. Thank you. I've got 210 down the front here. 220 at the back. Right at the back of the room at 220. My voice will be going soon if we don't sell this. At 220 pounds at the back of the room. 230. Thank you very much. Here. 230 pounds here. We are selling at 230. 240 I've got at the front of the room at 240. 250 at the back. Will you help me, sir? At 250 pounds right at the back of the room. 250 pounds. We are selling at two, thank you, 260 at the front of the room. 260 pounds I've got. At two, 270. Thank you, gentlemen. The tie at 270. At 270 pounds. Any more bids on this at 270 pounds? We are selling 280 down the front. Here. Would you go 200? At 200, thank you. 300 pounds is at the back of the room. I've got 300 pounds at the back of the room. I'm going to get one of these to sell for myself. <laughs> at 300 pounds, right at the back of the room. 350 down the front of the room here at 350 pounds. I think we've got someone that wants this down the front here at 350 pounds. Once. At 350. Thank you. 360. I've got For God's sake, what time did you want to get home? <laughs> at 300. The gentleman's got a very young wife to get back. At 360 pounds. We are selling at 360 pounds. Once at 360. Thank you. 370 pounds. <laughs> lady at the back, if you want to go 380, we've got 380 pounds. Right at the back, a pretty lady in pink at the back. At 380 pounds. I've got. 390 anybody? 380 I have. Anyone want to go through? 390 I've got here. I've got 400 at the front. At 400 <laughs> pounds at the front here. My arms are starting to ache at 400 pounds. Once at 400 pounds. Twice at 400 pounds. Sold to you, sir. Thank you. Very much. <laughs>